Hello, good morning. Today we will study about the aquatic adaptation. Aquatic adaptations they are which are shown by the animal to live in water. Basically, aquatic adaptations are of two types: primary aquatic adaptations and secondary aquatic adaptations. Primary aquatic adaptations are shown by all those organisms who are native of water, for example, fishes. Whereas secondary aquatic adaptations, they are shown by those individual who became terrestrial later on enter water because of the adaptations. So primary adaptation it includes number one streamlined body. presence of gills for respiration in water presence of fins for locomotion presence of swim bladder in bony fishes as accessory respiratory organ and hydrostatic organ presence of bundles of v shaped muscles called myotomes which are arranged on the lateral side of the body for undulations presence of scales to prevent external water from penetrating through the skin presence of mucus secretion to wash out the harmful external parasites like bacteria fungus parasitic protozoans etc from the body then the presence of large eyes with circular lens having graded reflective index rite mirabili are present in the choroid layer which produce a high oxygen tension for the retina and sclera is provided with cartilage to resist pressure of water presence of internal ears then nostrils have no connection with mouth and serve as chief receptor for chemo sensation that is they perceive smell and presence of other chemical substances in the water then next is the presence of lateral line sense organs for touch direction velocity and the size of moving object of the ambient water the neuromast cells of the lateral line are connected with 10 cranial nerve then is the presence of the breathing organs certain group of fishes have modifications to allow them to hear such as weberian apparatus the bones link the swim bladder and internal ear and serve to enhance hearing by conducting pressure changes produced by externally originating sound waves from swim bladder to the ear the labyrinth organ is formed by vascularized expansion of epibranchial bone of the first gill arch and used for respiration in air in anabas fish gill rackers are bony or cartilaginous finger like projection of the gill arch which functions in filter feeders in retaining the then the primary aquatic adaptation includes various types of fins the paired pelvic fins assist the fish in going up and down through water turning sharply and stopping quickly the function of paired pectoral fins is the creation of dynamic lifting force that assist some fish such as sharks then the dorsal fins are located on the back a fish can have up to 3 of them the dorsal fin serves to protect the fish against rolling and assist in sudden turns and stops then caudal fin is the tail fin located at the end of the caudic caudal peduncle and is used for propulsion the anal fin is located on the ventral surface behind the anus this fin is used to stabilize the fish while swimming so these are various fins which are present now coming to the secondary aquatic adaptation secondary aquatic adaptations they are shown by large number of individuals first adaptation neck constriction disappears and tail enlarges to take the shape like that of fish tail for example aquatic cetaceans sirenia 
एंड पिनिपीडिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ डॉल्फिन सील सी काउ नेक कंस्ट्रिक्शन डिसअपियर्स एंड टेल इट एन लार्जेस टू टेक द शेप ऑफ फिश टेल नेक्स्ट इज पिन्ना और हेयर डिसअपियर फ्रॉम द बॉडी सो दैट वॉटर डज नॉट एंटर इन टू एंड कॉज इन्फेक्शन नेक्स्ट इज द वेब्ड फीट दे आर डिवेलप्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इक्वेटिक बर्ड्स पिनपीडिया प्लेटिपल्स द वेब्ड फीट हेल्प द डक टू स्विम मोर स्मूथली एंड फास्टर बिकॉज दे एक्ट लाइक अ पैट नेक्स्ट Aquatic adaptation: the limbs are modified into paddles in turtle. In the pad paddle, the entire limb skeleton is enclosed by the skin. Various bone joints of the limb lose their mobility, and entire structure act as a single unit. In some cases, four limbs are modified into fish fin-like structure called flippers, as in the case of whales. and hind limbs they are absent here in this figure you can see the vestigial pelvis so hind limb is absent then is hind limbs they are modified into the swimming organ for example in the case of hippopotamus then hind limb of platypus they act as balancers during the swimming next is the presence of bilobed caudal fin known as flukes in whale fluke propel the animal by vertical movement and opposed to horizontal movement of fish tail next is the presence of triangular dorsal fin the main purpose of dorsal fin is to stabilize the animal against a rolling and to assist in sudden turns these structures are not supported by fin rays but strengthened by mass of dense connective tissue as in the case of dolphin whales like human require oxygen to survive and will suffocate in water if blow hole for oxygen is not present the blow hole is situated on or near the top of head and act as airway passage for breathing so frequently the water Uh, fountains they are seen from the blow holes in the case of the whales now two types of locomotions are present in the case of the secondary aquatic animal first is oar propulsion in sea turtle where nearly equivalent force fore and hind limb exert propulsive forces to fro then is tail propulsion in seal whale dolphin where the forward propulsive thrust comes from the flattened tail or fluke and the flippers and the dorsal fin if present provide stability next is the external nostrils they are either shifted towards the upper side at the tip of the head for example in the case of turtle crocodiles beavers dolphins whales this adaptive feature allows the animal to respire by exposing a little part of body out of water second sometimes the external nostrils they are completely absent for example in the case of cormorants and pelican so in this figure you can see no nostril is present external nostril in whales the sphincter muscle guard the external nostril the nostril remain closed while the animal roams under water next is in cetaceans and sirenians the blood volume is almost double to that of the land relatives high hemoglobin content helps in carrying much more oxygen a counter current blood circulation is present in the flipper of whale for thermo regulation male marine turtle usually do not visit land in their lifetime only female turtle come to land for egg laying and almost all marine snakes are viviparous next sweat and sebaceous glands they are absent in the case of the aquatic mammals next point a thick subcutaneous layer of fat 
is present in whale seals penguins which is known as blubber this layer is primarily concerned with thermoregulation it also reduces specific gravity of body providing buoyancy next external ear have tendency towards elimination next olfactory lobes of the brain they are reduced because olfactory receptors are very less in number next the eyes they are adapted for underwater vision next adaptation is most of the whales they are capable of eco ranging and communicate between themselves with ultrasonic frequency to a great distance tooth whale including dolphins have developed sensory ability used for locating food and for navigation under water called eco location tooth whale produce a variety of sound by moving air between air spaces or sinuses in the head next is sea snakes have specialized flattened tail for swimming and have valves under over their nostrils which are closed under water now see here in this figure you can see in the case of normal snake the tail is pointed at the end whereas in the case of sea snakes the tail is flattened which is helpful for swimming due to their need to breathe air they are usually found in shallow water where they swim about the bottom feeding on fish fish eggs and the eels next aquatic adaptation is shown by the turtles that is aquatic respiration in australian freshwater turtle is through large cloacal cavity that are lined by finger like projections these projections they are called papilla they have rich blood supply and increase the surface area of cloaca the turtle take play, take up dissolved oxygen from the papilla and act as the gills next adaptation is shown by the birds pecten the bill is usually broad and contains serrated lamellae which is particularly well defined in filter feeding species along the edge of the beak there is a complex structure called pecten that strains the water squirting from the side of the beak and traps any food the pecten is used to preen feathers next is uropygial gland cormorants have underdeveloped uropygial gland the oil gland at the base of bird tail birds get a bit of oil at the tip of their beak by rubbing it across the gland and then preen the oil through their feathers to, to waterproof them cormorants are diving seabirds but despite having a submerge their whole body in water to get food they need to survive they do not have fully waterproof feathers so they dry their wings in open air after diving they have to sit out in water with their wings extended till feathers dry and they can fly again so thank you www.google.com for providing beautiful pics so that we can explain our topic thank you